What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. Today, you guys are joining me for another episode of What's New in Scootering. This is the holiday edition, as you can tell from our set. Since Christmas is right around the corner, we figured we would update you guys on everything new in scootering so you guys can be up to date and make sure you're asking your parents for the coolest and latest scooter parts on the market. So in this episode of What's New in Scootering, we are gonna be taking a look at all the new signature tilt stuff, a whole new line of product by Ethic, a bunch of new stuff from Heligrip, and a couple little things here and there that you might just not know came out. So without further ado, let's hop into all the tilt stuff. All right, so first thing up, arguably my favorite product in today's video, we have the Tilt Delaney Ball Signature Wheels. If you guys have been following Tilt for at least the last year, you've definitely seen Delaney on their feed. She's an absolute killer from the bay, rides for the vault, rides for Tilt, and well deserving of this signature wheel. This wheel is pink on black, on the core, you could see it has her little D-baller signature. It's actually her signature etched into the wheel, which is super cool. This is a 110 millimeter wheel by 24 millimeters wide. These guys come with pre-installed Tilt bearings. They're pretty fast. See that? straight out of the box. These guys are sold in pairs, so when you guys buy that quantity of one, you get two wheels, around 90 bucks. When it comes to a urethane hardness for Delaney's wheel, we're looking at 88A, which is a bit of a standard urethane hardness in comparison to some other wheels. If you guys don't know, the higher the urethane, the harder the wheel, the lower the urethane number, the softer the wheel. So I just learned that, or I knew that. I just didn't, I didn't know like specifics. I didn't know if like lower was higher, higher was lower, but either way, Delaney's wheels are here. They're available. If you guys are interested, check the link down below. This is probably the only time you're ever going to be able to get a pink tilt wheel, so buy, buy the wheels. Moving on, we have another signature wheel from Tilt, and that is Will Judy. If you guys don't know, Will Judy is an absolute maniac on a scooter. He's from the Seattle, Washington area and now lives here in LA. Goes to LMU. He's a student. He's a good student. But either way, Till rewarded him with his own signature wheels as well. These are the same exact Durare core just like Delaney's. However, Will opted for a wider wheel. He actually rides a 30 millimeter wide, so that's what he went with. So instead of 110 by 24, Will went with 120 by 30. As far as urethane hardness goes, these are the same as Delaney, so 88A, pre-installed bearings, sold in pairs, backed by Tilt warranty, and great reputation for making great scooter parts. So when it came to color, Will decided to do a dark turquoise green. Honestly, I'm a huge fan. You could tie this into a lot of other parts. You could tie it together with other colors. Another touch, Will Judy's signature is also etched into the core, just like Delaney's wheel, just so you know that this is a signature wheel and not your average tilt wheel. So that's it for tilt wheels. Once again, these guys are limited, rare, not a lot made. Made. So if you're interested in these, Christmas is here. Now is your time to buy. All right. And next up, we have a signature bar. This is the White Trash Willie or Will Cashin's signature Tilt Rigid Bar. The Rigid Bar was introduced by Tilt a couple years ago. It was one of the first all aluminum T-bars that didn't have any sort of reinforcements underneath the crossbar to reinforce it. For those of you guys who don't know or unfamiliar, aluminum is a bit of a softer material and it's very common for aluminum bars to be made here in scootering. However, it's very rare to find aluminum bars that don't have reinforcements here. Colin, the mastermind at Tilt, has somehow figured out how to do this T-bar where it's still incredibly strong and they're incredibly light. I believe these guys weigh just a tad bit more than titanium bars and to speak from experience, I can tell you that these bars are great. That's beyond the point. Today, we're here to talk about Will's signature graphic and colorway. Will is a big fan of the color blue, so as you can tell with his signature bar, he decided to go with this baby blue. Honestly, this is another great color. They did a really good job <laughs> with picking out colors because this one is another one that I've just never really seen before in scootering. On the side of the bar, you can see it says cash in here. Once again, just letting the world know that this is a signature bar right here on the top. You can see design by Tilt and the white trash logo sitting there. Great looking bar, great colorway. Specs for white trash release bar. 24 inches wide by 28 inches tall. No slit, you see this? These bars are not compatible with IHC compression. So if you guys wanna buy these bars to ride IHC, you cannot do it. And the reason for that is because the inner diameter of the bar is super thick, so it can be very strong. It's probably better you stick to SCS anyways, in my opinion. Last but not least, the White Trash Willy really Rigid Bars weigh 2.3 pounds as is. So obviously as you chop the bar down to your preferred dimensions, you are going to reduce the weight of the bar. So keep that in mind. Anyways, shout out to White Trash Willie. Congratulations on the signature bar. Now let's keep 
knocking out the rest of these sig parts. Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at Eden Gagliano's Signature Century Bar. What to say about this bar? First of all, what to say about Eden. If you guys don't know anything about Eden, go look him up on Instagram, watch his videos. One of the most technical riders, just consist, like he's an insane scooter rider. So very well deserving, but he decided to go with a Signature Century Bar. A lot of people prefer this bar just because it kind of took over the rain as the Rad Crow Bar. Either way, Eden decided to go with this dark green colorway on the side of the bar. You can see the E Gagliano with the tilt logo here. Nice, very, very nice. Another cool touch is here on the crossbar. It has the EG logo, just to remind you guys that this is his signature bar. And other than that, that really is it graphic wise. When it comes to specs on Eden's bar, you're looking at 28 inches tall by 24 inches wide. They do feature five degrees of back sweep. They do also feature one degree of up sweep. These guys are made out of steel, so they're a little bit heavier, but you know they're gonna be very strong. All Sentry bars come standard. You can run IHC compression, SCS compression, or anything that pretty much is good to go with standard size bars. The Sentries do not come with a pre-installed slit. However, you can install a slit, or we can install a slit, whatever floats your boat. I will say, this is probably the only time you're ever gonna be able to buy green Sentry bars. So if you're a fan of the colorway, green, these are, for, these are for you. This is your moment. Beautiful bar, beautiful colorway, and congratulations again, Eden. Moving on to the last tilt product in today's video, we also have have some signature grip tape. First up, White Trash Willie's signature tilt grip tape. This right here is the same White Trash logo that we saw on his bars. I'll just grab them so you can see. So as you guys can see, it's the same logo. However, there's a little, little cartoon of Willie pushing. It's pretty tight. And there's an Eden version too. You got the EG logo, little animation of Eden pushing, and of course, the tilt logo. So if you guys pick up White Trash Willie's bar or Eden's bar, you guys could pick up a sheet of their signature grip tape to complement it. Either way, if you guys are interested in any of that, all the links will be down below. Okay, moving on. So with all the tilt product out of the way, let's go ahead and move into some cool stuff from Prime. First things up, we have a brand new colorway of the Maxime Bouzid Signature Prime Fork. If you guys don't know who Maxime is, once again, go look him up, Insane Scooter Rider. Prime has rewarded this man with a brand new colorway of his signature fork. Originally, this fork did only come in black, but now we have this beautiful gold colorway. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, this axle. It's a 12 standard axle, so the fork comes out of the box, ready to go to ride 12 standard, just like most ethic forks nowadays. However, they do include a pair of 12 standard conversion spacers, so if you wanna ride 24 mil, eight mil standard wheels, you guys will be able to do that with this guy. All you'll have to do is buy yourself an axle, and you're good to go. Regardless, this is a beautiful fork. So, general basics of the fork, obviously you guys can ride up to 125 millimeter wheels, since it is 12 standard, are compatible. However, that does limit you to only riding 30 wide wheels if they are 12 standard. You can ride smaller wheels like 24, but you can't ride normal 8 mil bearing wheels that are 30 wide because the conversion spacers that come with the fork only convert it down to an 8 mil axle, but with 24 mil wheels. Either way, great looking fork. Next up, we have another new colorway. This is the Anthony Mitchlick Signature Prime Fork. This guy originally only came in black, but now we have it in chrome. I don't know about you, but I'm getting Scorcher Fork vibes. You feel me, Ruben? Another very sleek design from Prime and rewarding yet another absolutely insane rider. We're hyped to see it. As far as specs go for the Anthony Mitchlick fork, it's pretty much the same thing as the Maxime Bouzid fork. 12 standard compatible, conversion spacers included in the box, up to 125 by 30, SCS or HIC compression. Once again, man, just great fork made by a great brand. Let's carry on. We still got some more Prime stuff to look at. <sighs> Wow, that is a gorgeous looking scooter bar, if I say so myself. This is Dedeen's signature prime bar in his signature colorway, and I'm just speechless. It's beautiful. This deserves to be like on a wall in a museum. Dedeen's signature bar features this split two-tone colorway with gold on the top, fading into this beautiful green on the bottom. If you guys are above the age of 21 here in the US, you'll probably be able to recognize that this resembles a bottle of champagne. Don't drink unless you're 21. But sounds like my my boy Dedeen loves champagne and decided to uh, design a whole bar around it. You can see here the green colorway is very, very deep. It's almost like a metallic. Here on the top, you can see the Prime logo. It's etched around with the gold to tie into the top colorway. And once again, the gold that this is painted in is almost like a sparkly. It's hard. look at this. See how it's kind of sparkly? 
in a way. Great colorway. So, the Dean's signature prime bar does come in two different sizes. This one right here weighs 29.1 inches tall, and there's another version that weighs 31.1 inches tall. These bars do have four degrees of back sweep, where we just saw that the Tilt Sentries have five. The Dean's bar comes oversized, unlike the Tilt Sentry, and features a pre-installed slit. Here in America, we prefer SCS compression, which is totally fine. However, in Europe, HIC compression is still very, very, very popular. If you guys do buy these bars and you wanna ride SCS, all you have to do is throw a bar sleeve in there or cut the slit, you'll be good to go. Next up, man, I'm excited for this one. The Lucas D'Amelio Signature Prime Bar. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Not gonna give you a crash course on who Lucas D'Amelio is. He rides for Prime, he rides for Ethic, he rides for the Vault. And depending on who you talk to, most of the people are gonna tell you that he's the best rider in the world right now. Absolutely insane. Hailing from France, Prime decided to reward the man with a T-bar with a, with a twist. You see this? There's a hole in the bar, like, you see? There's a hole in the bar. Why there's a hole in the bar? It's beyond me. It adds 10 horsepower, it's more aerodynamic, adds downforce, there you go. Just like the Dean's bar, Lucas's bar does come in two different sizes. The first size is 28.7 inches tall, and the second one is 30.7 inches tall. Once again, offered in two sizes, so you guys can pretty much pick up the one that suits you the best. When we look at the rest of the specs for Lucas's bar, this guy does come oversized as well, with a pre-installed slit, of course, because we know those Euro boys love their HIC. On the side of the bar, we can see Lucas's signature graphic here in the prime font. I do like that. So support Lucas D'Amelio and buy his signature bar right now for Christmas. Put it on your list, bro. Santa's gonna get it for you. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, to cover the Heligrip stuff. Who doesn't like new Heligrip product? Let's be honest here. All right, the first one is this guy right here. Some of you guys may be asking yourself, this looks a lot like the watermelon colorway. And you would be correct because it does look like the watermelon colorway. However, there's a new yellow outline on it. This right here is the 19 1985 colorway, which is a great colorway, a great time, a great year, but also a great song by Bowling for Soup. Really, really cool. If you guys are a fan of green and pink with a little bit of yellow, these are gonna match up perfectly. Not only did Heligrip introduce some new designs like the 1985 one right here, they also did bump up the size of the grip tape with scooter decks becoming the size of skateboards nowadays. Each sheet of the new Heligrip designs comes seven inches wide by 24 inches long and can accommodate pretty much every scooter deck on the market. The next design is 1998, another sweet colorway tying into the green. It's very similar to the lime colorway that they introduced a little while back with the same yellow outline going around it, similar to the 1985 one. Oh, we have two new sheets, or actually three technically, of signature heligrip, okay? And the first one up is Brian Noise's signature heligrip. This right here is the stacked logo. There is two versions of Brian's heligrip design. This is the first one, this is the second one. Very, very similar graphics. However, this one's a little bit smaller if you're a fan of this style grip tape, and this one's larger if you're a bigger fan of this style. For those of you guys who also don't know, Brian is from Florida. He decided to go with a Vice City inspired graphic, well, at least in my opinion. This is very Grand Theft Auto Vice City, nostalgic. It's giving me GTA Vice City vibes. So in each letter, there is a GTA inspired like graphic of Brian Noise himself. So you can see we got Brian scootering, we got helicopters, actually a close up. We got a cameo from Michael Homan in the grip tape, bro. Come on. Very, very creative, very one of a kind. This ties into him and where he's from perfectly, and I'm hyped. I'm actually gonna be riding this myself, putting this in my car. You can't do anything about it, Ruben. Don't even try to stop me. When we take a look at the big one, it's the same exact graphic, just wider, and you can get a closer look at all the really, really cool illustrations here. We have one more sheet of grip tape, and that is Logan Fuller's signature graphic. We have the graphic of a pool here, and they actually have the pump pumping out all the water from the pool, and the water it looks like a little Heligrip logo. For those of you wondering why there's a pool here, probably the best pool rider in scootering right now. Congrats to Logan and congrats to Brian. Both of your graphics are absolutely great. We do have two stickers here tying into both of the grip tapes. So you have a signature Brian Noise sticker here. It's like reflective and holographic, but same graphic as the grip tape. And we have the pool logo sticker. The same graphics that are on their respected sheets of grip tape, but on a convenient little sticker for you to put anywhere of your choice. I'm thirsty. 
Mm. So that's all we have to talk about today for the Helligrip stuff. I mentioned there are a few products that have come out that you may not have known about, or maybe you do, but we're just here to remind you guys about them. The first product is Dylan Morrison's second signature river wheel. Such a talented scooter rider. River being one of the best wheel manufacturers, collabing with a rider like Dylan is always great to see in the industry. And this wheel right here is sick. Dylan decided to go with a black on red colorway this time. You can see there's some cool etching here on the wheel. These are actually uh, barbed wire going around the wheel. So if you're a fan of Dylan Morrison or Post Malone, you're gonna really like this wheel. It does say his name here as well in a really, really cool font. As far as the specs go for Dylan's wheel, this is a glide wheel, not a rapid. These guys do come with pre-installed river flash flood bearings. They do come in a pack of two and they are poured here in the US if you guys did not know. And the next wheel that we have is a signature wheel from Proto. This wheel is sick. And this is a signature slider wheel. Vlad's signature wheel here. This wheel comes purple on black with a really, really cool bone etched logo going all the way through the core of the wheel. You can see it has his name on the core as well. And the etched bone logo just really, really mixes with the wheel nicely. It's really cool to see just how much detail they can get on the core of the wheel. Other than that, 110 millimeters by 24 millimeters, sold in pairs, pre-installed proto murder bearings out of the box. The Vlad Signature Slider Wheel is the first signature slider wheel since John Reyes did it. Every signature proto wheel since John Reyes's wheel has been a gripper. That's pretty crazy. If you guys are looking for a fresh new set of wheels that are gonna keep you rolling, these guys will do the job. And who doesn't like purple on black? Boom. Dylan Morrison's wheel, Vlad's wheel, links are down below. Check them out. Moving on, we're gonna be taking a look at the Fusion Hunter Frost Signature Deck. This is another product that I'm really, really excited to talk about just because Hunter is another rider that does ride for us. Just really, really hyped to see riders get rewarded with signature products and Hunter is an absolute maniac, if you guys do not know. And this right here is his signature deck. This guy just hit the market like last week. For somebody who has the last name Frost, I think he tied into that beautifully. The abominable snowman on the bottom of the deck is so tight. Like, I'm 25 years old and I want this on my wall. This graphic is cool, it's evil, and it's definitely one of a kind. Hunter decided to go with a five wide by 19 and a half long Fusion Entropy deck. Head tube angle on Hunter's deck, we're looking at 83 degrees. Wheel compatibility wise, we're looking at 24 millimeter wide compatible and 30 millimeter wide compatible. As you guys can see, Fusion is nice enough to include both spacers here on the axle. So you run the smaller ones if you wanna ride 30 wide and run the big ones if you wanna run 24 wide. You can ride up to 120 millimeter wheels, so you guys are covered there. You have this beautiful Fusion Flex Brake here. Weight-wise, Hunter's deck comes in at just over three pounds. That is an incredibly light deck, and to do the tricks that Hunter's doing, you're definitely gonna need it. That's pretty much it for the specs of this deck. On the top of the deck, where the grip tape will go, you can see it says his name here, Hunter Frost, Fusion, and Hunter killed it, and this deck is beautiful. So, some of you guys may be asking, what's better than a signature deck, right? I'll tell you. Not only did they give Hunter a signature deck, but they also rewarded him with a set of signature wheels to match it. And that right there is pretty sweet. When it comes to this wheel, we're looking at a 110 millimeter by 24 millimeter wide Fusion hollow core wheel featuring another frost themed or abominable snowman type graphic. And the urethane actually features a white and blue swirl urethane. It is a really nice touch. The mixed urethane really does tie into the graphic. Beautiful wheel. And once again, shout out to Hunter. Shout out to Fusion. And once again, you guys can buy this duo pack down below. Who isn't gonna wanna open that up on Christmas? Come on. We're moving into the last chapter of this video. We're gonna be covering all of the new Ethic product. You heard me right, Ethic. New completes, new things. Very wow. Oh, we'll do the grips first. Dude, how was Julian holding the grips in that one video? He was like squeezing them. <laughs> Blackish gray, and we got some tan right here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, why are you holding them like that? Put them down. <laughs> So the first brand new Ethic product that we're gonna be taking a look at today is the Ethic Slim Grips. So this right here 
is the brand new Ethic Slim Grip, very, very similar to the current Ethic Grip, which is still one of the most popular grips here in scootering. However, hence the name Slim, these guys are a bit thinner than the original Ethic Grips. There were a lot of people who claimed that the Ethic Grips were too thick for them, and there's other riders that claim that they're perfect. So I believe Ethic just wanted to offer an option for both sides, and that's what we have here today. So as far as the pattern goes and the overall softness of this grip, it is very, very, very similar to a normal Ethic Grip, just a tad bit thinner. The first newly introduced feature, if you will, hybrid technology bar ends. This grip right here features an integrated bar end. So these do not come with your normal plastic bar ends that you guys will shove into your bars and probably lose at some point. These guys are integrated into the end of the grip and will never come off. Here on the end, you can see it says hybrid technology and ethic DTC on the bar end. Mm -hmm. Ethic Slim Grips are six and a half inches long. That's pretty much it spec-wise for the Ethic Slim Grips. Not only do these guys come with bar ends, but they also come in a ton of colorways. They're right here, you guys can see them, but I'm gonna talk about them. First up is black. Moving on, we have a purple and black swirl. Next is blue and black. This is a new colorway that they introduced. This is not transparent and black like the previous Ethic Grips. This is actually glow in the dark in black. Oh, it's glowing, Ruben. It's glowing. Moving on, we have red and black. Last, but not least, we have gum in black. Ton of great color options for you guys to mix and match and pretty much find the color that matches your setup perfectly. If you guys have ridden the previous Ethic Grips, I would really recommend you guys give these guys a go. Slimmer Ethic Grips. Link is down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to move into the final segment of this episode of What's New in Scootering. We have two brand new completes from Ethic that we're gonna be talking about today. Before I show you them, I just wanna let you know that they're really sick, okay? Ethic completes were cool before, but there was one big issue, ICS compression. Not saying ICS compression isn't good. All I'm saying is, is nobody rides ICS in America, so nobody really wanted to ride the complete came with ICS. But the Ethic Air One Complete was the lightest complete on the market for like six years in a row. I believe it wasn't beat until Aztec released the Corsa Complete. That shows you that Kevin DeMay knows how to design scooter parts and make them light. And it was only a matter of time before new Ethic Completes dropped with all the new bells and whistles that their aftermarket parts have. And today is that day. First one up, Ethic Air One V2 Complete. For those of you guys who follow the aftermarket scene here in scootering, you might recognize this deck, this colorway that I have here is the blue iridium colorway. However, we're not here to talk about the colorway, we're here to talk about the scooter. Let's talk specs. So, the Ethic Air One V2 Complete does come in two different sizes, small, and it comes in a medium. The difference between the small and the medium is the size of the deck and the size of the bar. So when it comes to the bars on the Air One V2, you guys are looking at 22 inch wide Ethic Dryad V2 bars. Regardless of the size you get, you're always gonna have 22 inch wide bars. So when it comes to bar height on the Air One V2, you're looking at 22 and a half inches tall on the small or 24 and a half inches tall on the medium. So that's it for the bar. Moving down to the clamp here, we have this nice sleek double clamp here with the Ethic logo on the front. Same with the dust cover, nothing too, too crazy, just black with a ton of Ethic logos wrapping around it. Moving down to the fork, we're looking at the Legion V2 fork that was also just introduced last year. And this right here is the IHC model. So that right there is where Kevin DeMay and the guys over at Ethic really, really improved this scooter and now is compatible with pretty much everything that you guys can buy on today's market. Since these Dryad V2 bars are aluminum, you can just slide them right over the IHC fork, tighten it up and you're good to go. But the coolest part about about the fork is that it's just another aftermarket option. Most of the parts on this scooter are sold individually. And if you were to buy every single one on their own, you're looking at like $400, $500, but you could buy the whole scooter for like $250. So you're literally getting a deal. The Air One V2 also does come with the brand new Ethic N-Cube two wheels. These are 110 by 24 with an 88A urethane hardness. These are really, really nice looking wheels. I'm a big fan of the larger hub profile and the smaller urethane. Coming to the deck, this is the Air One V2 deck in the blue iridium colorway. Looking at the bottom, we can see really, really cool graphic. And you can really see how the colorway fades from black into the color, really, really sleek colorway. When it comes to sizing for the deck, it doesn't matter if you get the small or the medium, both of them come 4.7 inches wide. And if you guys pick up the small version, you're looking at 18.9 inches long. And if you get the medium, you're looking at 19.7 inches long. As we move to the back of the deck, we have a eight standard Ethic brake, nothing too crazy, just their traditional nylon brake. Last but not least, back wheel, another Ethic in cube, two wheel, 110, black on black. 
head tube angle on the Air One V2 deck is 82 and a half degrees. And finally, let's talk about the weight. The small version of the Epic Air One V2 Complete comes in at 6.3 pounds and the medium comes in at a whopping 6.5 pounds. This is a six and a half pound scooter. Dude, there's like 15 pound scooters out there. Like. This is light. So if you guys are in the market for a brand new scooter, Christmas is right around the corner, you're looking to upgrade, you guys should definitely take a peek at this guy right here because here at the vault, we would highly recommend it. Another cool thing to note about the grips that come on the Air One V2 is they are the brand new Ethic Slim grips that we just talked about, but the blue iridium colorway is the only way you guys can get this colorway in the grips, at least at this point in time. Those are pretty much all the general specs of the Ethic Air One V2. I think it's time to show you guys all the colors. All right, next up is Neochrome. Primarily all black scooter. You have a nice Neochrome clamp here. Neochrome in cube two wheels to complement the clamp. So what the bottom looks like on this one. This right here is red. Similar to the Neochrome, you guys have red wheels, a red clamp, but this one also features black and red slim grips. Second to last is blue. Blue wheels, blue clamp, black and blue grips. As you guys can tell, there's a bit of a trend here with the color scheme. Oh. That was the last one. I don't know if I got lost, but either way, those are all five colorways that the Ethic Air One V2 Complete come in. Like I said, I think they upgraded it in all the right ways. Once again, you just can't really go wrong with anything made by Ethic. Speaking of completes, they have another one. If you guys have ever seen an Ethic Pandora deck, fairly popular, a lot of people liked it. And now we have a Pandora Complete. Here it is. This thing is tight. I know I said the Air One was tight. This thing is way tighter. Brand new complete by Ethic. This guy is more expensive. It is the step up from the Air One V2. Starting at the top. Cool thing to note here, these are not Ethic Slim Grips. These are the normal Ethic Grips. Moving on to the bar, you have a Ethic Trianon inspired bar. If you guys don't know, the Trianon bar is their aftermarket T-bar that features this Ethic cutout here on the top. Specs on the bars are 22 inches wide, and depending on what size you get, you have 24 and a half inches tall or 26 and a half inches tall. Moving down, we have the same clamp that we saw on the Ethic Air One Complete, which is just a nice sleek double clamp. Same dust cover and we actually have the same fork. This is an Ethic Legion V2 fork. However, this is the SCS slash HIC version because this scooter is running HIC compression. Moving on to the deck, this is the Ethic Pandora deck. We've seen this. You guys can buy this deck separately if you're interested in it. This guy comes 5.1 inches wide, no matter what size you get, by 20 and a half inches long or 22 inches long. So if you want the bigger, longer deck and the taller bar, pick up the large. If you guys want a smaller version, pick up the small. It's up to you. Moving on to the back of the deck, we do have a 12 standard nylon brake, and that is because this scooter is running 12 standard wheels. For those of you wondering, what if I buy this scooter and I don't want to ride 12 standard anymore? Or what if I wear down these wheels and I want to get new ones? It's okay. You can buy conversion spacers on our website for the back end of the deck, and you can also buy conversion spacers for the fork. Speaking of the wheels, these are 12 standard Ethic N-Cube 2 wheels, same exact wheel that we saw on the Air One V2. However, these ones are 12 standard, and they come 115 by 30. So that Radix Eagle size wheel right here on the Ethic Pandora Complete. On the back end, you can see how the dropout slash peg system works, which is really, really cool. Obviously, is going to really help you lock into 5.0s and 50s. So when it comes to weight for the Pandora Complete, the medium comes in at 7.2 pounds and the large size comes in at 7.5 pounds. So you got a scooter with 22 inch long deck, T-bars, and 12 standard wheels, and it weighs less than eight pounds. Beautiful complete, and it comes in a ton of beautiful colorways. This right here is all black. Since it is primarily black, you guys can throw on color like that. Throw on some grip tape, maybe different color wheel, different color grips, and you can introduce a whole realm of colorway to this scooter without spending a ton of money, which is pretty tight. All right, let's take a look at the other colors. So, we have Neochrome, Neochrome wheels, Neochrome clamp, everything else is murdered out. Next up is red, got the red clamp and the red wheels. However, you have solid red grips on this one. This right here is the brushed raw colorway. You have the raw deck, the raw fork, and the raw bar. And the grips on this guy are the black and transparent Ethic grips that you guys can also buy separately if you like them. And the final colorway for the Ethic Pandora Complete is blue. Blue wheels, blue clamp, solid blue grips, same great scooter. Whew. All right, so now that we have covered all of the products, there is one more thing I wanna to talk to you guys about. So Ethic was kind enough to give us four of these brand new completes, and we wanna give away all four of them to you guys watching right now. This is not a joke. This is not a scam. If you want the chance to win one of the four Ethic completes that we have right here, 
All you have to do, drop a comment on this video, let us know which one you want, whether you want an Air One complete or you want a Pandora complete. And all you have to do is say, I want the Air One, and then tell us one brief sentence of your favorite part in scootering. What's your favorite part of scootering? It could be people, it could be the skate parks, it could be the tricks. We wanna know, we're gonna read every single one, so comment which one you want, comment your favorite part of scootering, and you will be entered to win one of these completes. Enter it, you guys will see the winners in the next episode of What's New in Scootering. We're gonna post pictures of them with the scooters so you guys can see that we ain't playing and we really giving away scooters to our beautiful fans. All right, you guys, just like that, that is a wrap for this episode of What's New in Scootering. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It was an absolute blast to make and we're gonna be pumping out a few more of these in the next few weeks just because there's so much product. Christmas is right around the corner and we wanna make sure you guys are up to date on everything that is new. If you enjoyed me, my name is Austin, my links are down below. If you guys need anything scooter related, shop the vaultproscooters.com and we will see you in the next video.